Welcome to Uncage Zoo Tours. If you love animals or if you are new to my channel, I would highly recommend hitting the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to join me on my tours. I have a treat for you today. We're at the channel's first wildlife park, Out of Africa Wildlife Park. Located in Camp Verde, Arizona, it only opened in 2005. Unlike other animal facilities I toured, I got to hand feed animals, which was the closest thing I got to an African safari. In addition, I got to see over 30 species from not just Africa, but also the Americas and Asia. So let's go! Before we head to the bus, there is an aviary. There are six species, but I focused on helmeted guinea fowl. These birds are primarily active in, in the early morning and late in the afternoon. When it gets too hot, they remove heat from their bodies using their bare head and neck. There are also some permanent tourists, a blue and gold macaw and a scarlet macaw. Their beautiful feathers can help them blend into leaves and fruit, not shade. It's time to hop onto the bus. By the way, this bus cannot transform into anything, but I wish it did. We're off! After driving through the Arizona wilderness, the bus will make its first stop. Here, we'll meet Pilgrim, a reticulated giraffe. Just like Zoo Atlanta, you can feed him with biscuits or feed them to a plains zebra. Scientists aren't sure why zebras have stripes, but there are a few hypotheses. Some people think it can help them confuse predators, while others believe that the stripes control the animal's temperature. Time to head back on the bus! After driving a little bit more and getting off, we'll meet a big friend, Jericho, a southern white rhino. When I visited the park, he was shy because he wanted to stay in his barn. But later in the day, he was sunbathing. It shows that even in the summertime, animals can beat the heat. Let's go back to the bus, which is driving into one of the park's biggest habitats. African Bush Safari. On my visit, I saw more plain zebras, more reticulated giraffes, and some Watusi cattle. These bovines have evolved to survive in arid conditions, including Arizona summers. Along the way, I saw water buffalo, along with more special hoofstock. First is the channel's first water buck. These antelope have shaggy coats that help them repel water. It's kind of like how we put on a wetsuit when we want to go for extended deep sea diving or surfing. There's also the critically endangered Adax. Like all antelope, they are in the family Bovidae, which also includes bison, cattle, sheep, wildebeest, gazelles, etc. To maintain their body temperature, their color changes from dark grayish brown in the winter to white in the summer. Sadly, there's only 500 individuals in the wild due to their endangered status. It's also worth noting that I got to feed an ostrich, which can be pretty hard because of their sharp beak. But I also spotted a dromedary camel, which is known for having one hub that can store fat. Roaming nearby were the sable antelope. Like lions, sable antelope are kicked out of the herd after their first birthday and must join a bachelor herd. When a big cat threatens the antelope, it can use its sharp horns to fight off or even kill the cat. On the bus's left side is a unique sheep, the Owdad. A-O-U-D-A-D. Owdad. But you can also call them the Barbary sheep. You can find these wild sheep in the mountains of North Africa. Unlike most sheep, the females, or ewes, are more aggressive than the males, or rams. Don't worry folks, we're not done yet, because it's time to drive on. While we were driving, I saw a black bear, which was unique due to its cinnamon-colored fur. Well, the bus has stopped because it's time to meet the king of the savannah, the African lion. Like all cats, lions are carnivores. 
Even though the females do most of the hunting, the males will join in on the action when they want to hunt something big like a cape buffalo or elephant. They also love the keeper's attention. We're briefly moving from Africa to North America to meet the channel's first gray wolves. Wolves are one of nature's ultimate marathoners. Despite often playing the villain in fairy tales, they're very important to the environment as they keep their prey population stable. Across from them is an Amor tiger. It's time to move on! Our next stop is the lion's arch enemy, the channel's first spotted hyenas. They can work together to hunt large prey despite being known as scavengers. These carnivores have one of the strongest bites on the planet. They are one of the few mammals that can digest bones, hair, horns, and teeth. One of the hyena's prey is the Warthog. Meet Poppy 2, Hamilton, and Petunia. Warthogs have bumpy skin that serves as a shield when they attack each other with their powerful tusks. Like rhinos, warthogs have poor eyesight, but they do have excellent smell and hearing. After driving up a little bit more, it's time to leave the bus. After briefly saying hello to a tegu, a South American lizard, it's time to get a proper reintroduction to the Bengal tiger. Although these two aren't cubs, they will live on their own because they live alone and can be very territorial when they must share. And I know, sharing is hard sometimes. These two were the stars of today's Tiger Splot Show, a special event where the keepers showcase their hunting abilities and the importance of animal trust. I also got to meet some of their neighbors, which were a raccoon, a common marmoset, and some cabivaras, which showed us their love for water. Finally, it's time to head into one of the park's reptile houses. There were some Burmese pythons, reticulated pythons, and a green anaconda. But the star attraction was a king cobra, which we had to keep our distance from because of its potent venom. These aggressive snakes will open their neck rib to make themselves look more prominent and then bite the victim with its deadly fangs. Yikes! But like other animals, they only do this in order to survive. Even snakes have feelings, especially when they feel threatened. And that's all for today, folks. Hopefully this will convince you to visit out of Africa for yourself. And don't worry. There's much more to see in Arizona, with a new tour coming soon. Thank you for subscribing and watching. I hope you enjoyed it!